What's up, everybody? This is Russell Brunson. I am actually podcasting today to announce the death and the rebirth of the Marketing Secrets Podcast. All right, that may have sounded kind of dramatic, and it is, but actually in a really, really good and exciting way. When I first started this podcast, my business was on top of the world. We had like 60 employees. We had sales teams and marketing. I thought it was the greatest thing in the world, and then everything crashed and collapsed. But for some reason I felt this pulled, like you should start doing this podcast. And so Gary Vee talked about documenting your journey, but that's literally what I was doing was documenting the journey of us rebuilding our company. Man, it was like the most amazing, for me, like the most amazing time of discovery of my life. And I remember I was like, Marketing Secrets is like, for me is this umbrella brand of like all of the content stuff we're doing. And then I've done three, four, 500 episodes of the Marketing Secrets podcast. And it's been fun. But if I'm completely honest, over the last little bit, it's become more of a chore. It's been, you know, my brother messaging me like, hey, we have podcast episodes, I need two this week. And like, oh, like, what am I gonna talk about? And, and that's what brings us to where we are today. Hey, this is Russell Brunson. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This episode is actually taken from a longer form podcast. I have been shifting my podcast. This episode will actually talk about why we're doing it. And it's gonna be a longer form episode uh, talking about the transition, which you guys will have a chance to see here as well on the YouTube channel. So it's a little longer form video, but I hope you enjoy these. If you do enjoy them, please comment down below. We're gonna be watching the comments. I'll be using those comments for future episodes of the podcast. With that, thank you guys so much for listening. And I hope you enjoy this very first episode of the Marketing Secret Show. You're listening to Marketing Secret with your host, Russell Brunson. Some of you guys know when I first started this podcast, the podcast is free and all you gotta do is subscribe through iTunes. Man, and almost a decade ago, which is crazy. And what's even crazier is even probably seven or eight years before that, I remember podcasting became the cool thing. I was sitting at Armand Morin's big seminar in Atlanta and they had some speakers come up and talking about this weird thing called podcasting. And everyone in the audience was so excited. And I was like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I will never podcast. I'm never going to say the word podcast. It's embarrassing. And then uh, my buddy, I remember Josh Anderson was my friend who was there at the time with me. And he was like, no, like this is the future. And uh, I was like, well, if I'm ever going to do a podcast, I'm going to call it marketing in your car. So remember I bought marketinginyourcar.com. And then the guy who was speaking about podcasting, I remember hiring him to, to do a jingle for me. This is the very first uh, jingle for my podcast. So here we go. Okay, so that was the first jingle. It's pretty bad. But I had that jingle for like six years before I ever actually did a podcast episode. Um, at the time, man, my business was on top of the world. We had like 60 employees. We had sales teams and marketing. I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And then everything crashed and collapsed. I remember we moved from a 20,000 square foot building to a 2,000 square foot building. Went from 60 employees down to like six. And uh, it was one of those times where it was like emotional and painful and just, uh, it was a, it was, it was tough. The, the new office we got was about a five or six minute drive from my house. And one of the first two or three times I was driving there, I had this impression that like, hey, you should start your podcast now. You know, you have Mark in your car, you have the jingle, um, you should, you should do this podcast. And I remember I was like, this is the worst possible time that I could do a podcast. Like, I just lost my entire company. I'm in debt. Everything's horrible. But for some reason, I felt this pulled. Like, you should start doing this podcast. And so we figured it out. We set it up. And uh, we launched the very first episode of the Marketing in Your Car podcast. Hey, everyone. This is Russell Brunson. I want to welcome you to the Dot Com Secrets Marketing in Your Car podcast. And it was literally me driving from my house to the office. And sometimes I would drive back and I was doing it three or four or five times a week, just kind of, do- it gets funny, like Gary Vee talked about documenting your journey, but I, that's literally what I was doing was documenting the journey. And it's funny because if you go back and listen to those old episodes and I recommend go binge listening. In fact, if you go to marketingsecrets.com and go to the content hub, there's a section that says marketing your car. You click on that. You can actually go subscribe to the old feed that has all the old marketing your car episodes. Uh, so much in like the creation zone of me learning marketing again, right? And I was learning how to do things and like, I remember there's an episode where I was like, you gotta be a moron to wanna make more than $10 million a year in a business. Like I would never try to do that again. You know, it's funny things like I was I was sworn to back then that that now are funny. There were things I was discovering. We we're discovering different ways to write hooks. They we were discovering different marketing funnels and campaigns. And like, man, it was like the most amazing for me, like the most amazing time of discovery of my life. And we did, I think, four or 500 episodes of the Marketing Your Car podcast. About that time is when I think dot com seekers book had come out, click funnels had come out, maybe even expert secrets. And about that time, John Reese, who I, I bought pretty much everything that he's owned in the past, but um, I remember he messaged me and said he wanted to sell Traffic Secrets, which was like, 
you know, I was like, oh my gosh, I have dot-com secrets book, expert secrets book, like traffic secrets book would be the third book in the trilogy. And I was so excited. And then he was like, you can buy all my domains if you want. So I bought traffic secrets and also about marketing secrets. And I remember I was like, marketing secrets is like, for me, is this umbrella brand of like all of the content stuff we're doing. And I was like, it makes logical sense to rebrand the podcast from the Marketing Your Car podcast to the Marketing Secrets podcast. What's up, everybody? I want to welcome you to today, the very first day of the official Marketing Secrets podcast. And then I've done, I don't even know if we even know, like three, four, five hundred episodes of the Marketing Secrets podcast. And it's been fun and it's been fulfilling. And it was really kind of probably the next season of my life where it was like, hey, we have this ClickFunnels company, at, you know, I don't know, two or three million dollars a year. And we, you know, I podcasted the journey up to a hundred, hundred fifty million dollars a year beyond. And it's been fun. But if I'm completely honest, um, over the last little bit, it's become more of a chore. And I think the reason why I was like, I don't know what to share on these podcasts. Like when I was discovering new things, it was all like, that was what was exciting. But then like we get more to the optimization, you know, of businesses and ideas and building teams and stuff like that. It wasn't ever like, it was harder for me to find like the thing I was excited about that I wanted to share that I wanted to give you guys. And in fact, I remember in Fiji, it was when I was doing my intervention with Tony Robbins. I remember JLD raised his hand and he was like, he's like, do I listen to every one of your podcast episodes? And I can hear you like just trying your best to squeeze in that time, like on your drives to work or wherever it can be. And it's, it's always gold. And like, I always do kind of leave those episodes thinking like, what if Russell just had more time to create, to write, to do what frankly you do best? He's like, I wish you would slow down and just like share more. Cause like, I love them, but like, I always feel like you're just kind of hurrying to get them out. And if I'm honest, that's what it's been. It's been, you know, my brother messaging me like, hey, we have podcast episodes. I need two this week. And like, oh, like, what am I going to talk about? And, and I always try to bring really good stuff, but it hadn't been as thought through and and planned out as, as possible. And I just don't know what to go with it. And so we kept doing them, kept doing them. And, and hopefully you've gotten value from them. But uh, about a week ago, I was just like, what's the future? It's like, what, should we keep doing it? Should we not keep doing it? And if we do, do keep doing it, like, what would get me really pumped and really excited? And that's what brings us to where we are today. In fact, uh, recently, as you probably heard me talk about, I've been acquiring old rare books from all of my favorite genres, like a whole bunch of old uh, Mormon books and personal development and business and like all those kind of things. And probably conservatively in the last year, we could count the books in here, probably four or 5,000 books I bought. So yeah, I have a little bit of addiction called bibliomania. It's, you know, it's, it's a thing. From that, we, you know, we're building this big library, but we needed a place in the interim. So we kind of rented this office to store all the books. And uh, one of the rooms we called the Napoleon Hill room had all the Napoleon Hill books. And it was here and it was like, but it just didn't look that good. But I filmed a couple of podcasts from here and it's like, man, we should make this room look really, really cool. And so we painted it, we got some curtains, we got a bookshelf, and then we put just the best books in here from Napoleon Hill, but also some of my other favorite authors and mentors. And this room became like, I don't know, it became special. Like you come in here and the energy's just different. I don't know. There's something really cool about it. And so for me, I started coming here. I started writing in here. I started spending more time and just a lot of moments my creative and energy was happening in here. And it's just, it was really special. And then we thought, man, like we should do something. I know we kept trying to figure out how do we build YouTube videos and all these different things. And uh, anyway, over the last week or so, I had an idea of like, I know what would get me excited about doing the podcast again. Number one, it'd be fun to do it in here, in this room where it's just like, you have like this something special, something magic in here. You know, being in this room with, with some of the greatest minds of all time. Like obviously they've passed on, but their work is here and their legacy. A lot of these things are like first edition signed by the, the authors, which is just such a, a cool, I don't know, something cool about it. Uh, and that's the thing, like what would get me really, like what would I be excited to share? And as I started thinking, there's a lot of things. You know, I, I did a podcast episode a little while ago talking about how we're buying different businesses, which has been, you know, it's fun. And you guys all geeked out, like, oh, I got a lot of feedback from that episode. But I didn't tell you what businesses I bought or why I bought them, what the plan is, what's the strategy, what's working, what's not working, the ups and the downs, like all the journey of those. One of the first businesses I bought was, it's called Zuma Juice. It's a green drink company. And I did it because like, I thought that was bored, but I wanted a challenge. I wanted something fun. I wanted to be creative again. I wanted to be in the business, right? Like the first decade of my life, I was in the business. I was launching tons of companies and stuff. And then when we launched ClickFunnels, I wrote the books, kind of retired from that. And I coached other people's businesses, but I wasn't in it anymore. I wasn't doing it. And I missed it. So I bought Zoom and Juice as a project to go and to, to get my hands dirty. I want to build a business and just make sure that I'm sharp, that, I'm, that I know what's happening. So we bought that. I bought a bone broth company called Aubon Bone Broth. I partnered with a friend on a supplement line called Blackout and Phoenix, which is an energy thing and something that puts you to sleep. Uh, one of my original co-founders at ClickFunnels, Dylan Jones, created a new software company called OnePager, and we partnered on that. Uh, we just recently bought John Reese's company, Giru.com. I also, I don't know if we 
publicly announced this yet, but here maybe is the public announcement. I just bought Lady Boss from Brandon and Kaylin Poland. I bought Magnetic Marketing from Dan Kennedy. I bought Doodly, Voomly, Toonly from Brad Callen. I bought Startup Drugs, which is a t-shirt company. I'm launching a company called Understand.me. Uh, I'm launching a new brand called Secrets to Success. I'm writing a book called Secrets to Success. I'm republishing a bunch of these books uh, that are in the public domain. And like, there's all these things that I, I'm so excited to share and to talk about, but I've never had a place to talk about it. Like I would share a principle I've learned along the way, but how many is like an episode where I just go for 30 or 40 minutes telling you guys what, like why I bought Aubon and why I bought Voomly and the strategy and the things and what's working, what's not working, like what we're testing, like, oh crap, this didn't actually work. Like it's almost like going back to the original marketing secrets today, but instead of just sharing you guys the, the, the journey of, of this one rebuild in business, which was click, you know, eventually became ClickFunnels, I'm sharing all these other ones. And that sounds like so much fun. And so that's part of what the new updates is going to be. You'll notice when the new episodes come out, it'll be Zuma Juice part one, part five, part 12. And, and over time, you'll have a chance to like keep updating these things and Aubon Bone Broth and startup drugs and different things. You can hear the journey behind these companies, which I think will be, it'll be fun and fascinating and a lot of fun for me. You know, I think I can go more long form instead of spending eight to 10 minutes on a podcast. I'll spend 30 minutes going through and maybe an hour. I don't know who, who knows how long these things will go. We'll find out today. I'm going to record a couple today. Um, that got me really excited. Internally in the company, we call these virtual real estate. These are little real estate properties um, that we're creating. We're building a team. We're putting them out there and hopefully they'll make money for us. And some are, some aren't. And I want to share these ideas with you and share the, the stuff I'm learning because I'm learning so many good things. There's, there's a, a magic in being in the business and getting your hands dirty again that makes, for me, makes me a better coach, makes me a better trainer, makes me a better teacher, makes us so we can build better software because I'm, I'm playing the game. I'm not just someone who, I mean, so many of the marketing gurus did a thing once and then they spent the last decade or two decades talking about it. Like, I love this game, probably more so than anyone I've ever met. Like, I want to be in the game again. So there's that. Um, also, I used to do decade and day calls with my inner circle members where I would do consulting calls. And it was just for them to hear. And for, for a long time, it was one-on-one. And then I started opening up where I let other inner circle members in to listen in on it. And I was like, man, what if I started doing these consulting calls but, like, let you guys listen in? Well, they become po- podcast episodes. So I kind of want to launch um, – a sub channel on the podcast, not a sub channel, but just a sub show on the podcast called Decade and Day, where I'm sharing these consults. Um, Fun Hockey Live, we had so many amazing presentations. Like, I want to bring some of those back for you guys. Um, I've never really done an interview show. There's people I want to interview. Like, we just uh, signed a deal with Damon John. We're doing a really cool project with him. Like, I want to do an interview with him. We just uh, we're doing a project with Nicole Arbor. Like, I want to do an interview with her. You know, like just other cool people that we're working with. I've never had a spot to do interviews. So, like get the marketing secrets in their brains. There's a lot of stuff I'm doing in the biohacking world, a lot of stuff I'm doing with, with personal development. Like there's just more stuff that I want to talk about. And so the thought was like, well, do I cancel the show? Do I do a new show? Do we do something different? And I think I still want to keep it under the under the umbrella of marketing secrets because that's the lens I want to share these ideas with you. Um, I don't want to share like, just like here's a here's a personal development you know thing I learned. I want to do it through the lens of like, how can you use this in your business, either for yourself to become a better entrepreneur or how to use it as a tool to help the people that you're serving as well. And so that's kind of the, the, the game plan for the future of this podcast. It's going to be fun, I think. Uh, we probably won't launch you know, two or three episodes a week like we've done in the past. It might be one longer for an episode a week. And then maybe some of the short forms. I still want to do some of these, you know, the, the similar marketing in your car, marketing secret style where I get an idea and I'm in my car and I have an idea I want to, I want to share with you. But I want to do it when I'm actually inspired to share the idea, not just like, hey, we need three episodes this week, Russell. What do you got? You know, um, when you more Q&A calls, I think our team's going to reach out to a lot of you guys for answering questions. In fact, um, we're setting up a thing on uh, marketingsecrets.com. If you go to marketingsecrets.com, you'll be able to scroll there and you can leave them a question. And we'll pull those questions in and we can do Q&A shows where we have a chance to answer your specific question. Um, so there's a lot of fun ideas and things. But it, as we started talking about this, I got re-inspired of like what this show could become and how I could serve and how I could lean into you guys and give you guys what you want as well as helping me stay sharp and like helping me to analyze what we're doing at a different level, right? A lot of times these, these things are happening in my head. But when I can talk them out loud, um, it helps me think through it a lot of times as well. And hopefully my team will listen to these more. So like the team working on Zuma Juice, they should be listening to Zuma Juice episodes to know where my mind's at so they can they can run with it as well. A lot of times I have a vision and I'm not always the best at articulating it to my team. So hopefully it's become a good tool for them as well. So anyway, that's kind of the vision, the plan of the future of the Marketing Secrets Show. I hope you guys are on board with that. I hope you get excited. If you do, please let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you're listening to these things. You can do it on your phone. You can take a screenshot of like the actual, if you're listening on your phone, like take a screenshot of this and go to Facebook or Instagram or whatever and tag me in it. I see those all the time. And just let me know, like, yes, Russell's a good idea. Or um, hopefully by the time this episode goes live, you'll be able to go to marketingsecrets.com and like leave a question. If not, it'll be there in a week or two. But uh, let me know your thoughts and your ideas and, and what you think about it. Uh, on top of that, like, if you enjoy the show, again, please go to iTunes or Spotify where you're at and like rate and review and leave the feedback. Uh, that way I can see those things as well. And it'll be, it'll be fun. I guess you can say that the my podcast is growing up. Uh, but I don't want to lose any of the energy, the excitement from it. 
but I do want to uh, have the ability where I can spend more time and really think through things and give you guys stuff that's going to be super beneficial. I want to, I want to take this podcast from good to great. You know, uh, I've been talking to some of my friends, talking to my wife about this a lot recently, like just the concept that good is the enemy to great, right? Like why do people not have um, great businesses? Cause they have good businesses. Why do people not have great marriages? Cause they have good, good marriages. Why do people not have great podcasts? They have a good podcast. And I want to turn this podcast from good to great. I want to make everything in my life that I'm, that I'm touching. And I want to transition from good to great because yeah, as long as we're here, might as well, might as well do the greatest thing we can, right? I had a conversation at the Unlock the Secrets kid event with all the kids. And I talked about attitude. And I was like, look, you have to go through this experience anyway, right? You have to go through school. You have to go through work. You have to go through the experience. The only thing you can really affect is your attitude. And so it's like the same thing. If I'm in a podcast, I might as well make it great. Like I'm doing it anyway. Uh, might as well step back and, and make it great. So that's the goal. I'm going to try to make this great. On top of that, we're also using this as a platform where the podcast is going to be the top the top level of all of my content strategies for you guys to understand this. Like I talk about this in the Traffic Secrets book about the chapter about conversation domination where it's like, instead of doing what a lot of people do where like they say, make a video and repurpose it on 50 different platforms. It's not that way. It's creating a show that then you can pull pieces out for different platforms, right? And so that's kind of the game plan here as well is this marketing secrets show, podcast, you ever call it. I'll be recording it for the podcast and that's gonna be the top, like you guys in the podcast, I'm, my number one goal is to serve you guys. And then from that, we're gonna take things and we'll pull pieces out to use for YouTube and use for Instagram and use for TikTok and things like that. So that's the game plan. So this is the death of the old Marketing Secrets podcast and rebirth of something amazing. Internally, I've been calling it season two, which is kind of funny because for season one had whatever, 300, 500 episodes, whatever it was. Season two, we're starting over. Um, and uh, this season may be the only second season uh, if we like enjoy it, but this is the, the game plan for the process moving forward. So thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for being part of the show. Excited for the future. Excited to share some really cool things with you guys. I hope that it serves you. hope it changes your business and hopefully it changes your life. Uh, thanks again for listening and uh, we'll see you guys on season number two.